Good morning, members. We have formed a quorum, and it's time to start our meeting. This is the, the Subcommittee on Waste Disposal, this Designated Waste Disposal Facility Amendment Regulation 2013, Commencement Notice 2014, a Waste Disposal Refuse Transfer Station Amendment Regulation 2013, Commencement Notice. We need to uh, elect uh, a chairman. A nomination should be made by a member and uh, seconded by another member. So, nomination, please. Well, I believe uh, we should just uh, stay put. Um, I will nominate Ms. Uh, Sitho Yu to be chairman. Any seconder? Two members uh, have uh, seconded the uh, nomination. I'll be quick because I know the PWSC meeting is uh, going on. So, uh, members, if you don't object, I would uh, suspend our meeting if uh, there's a bell calling, uh, summoning uh, members back to cast their votes. Uh, Okay. Let's in invite the officials to come in to explain to us the uh, no two notices. And they are Mr. Howard Chan, Deputy Director of Environmental Protection, Dr. Ellen Chan, Mr. Chan Chi Kong, Principal Environmental Protection Officer, Waste Transfer and Development. Mr. Alex Lai, Government Council. Deputy Director, can you brief us on the two notices and uh, the measures that were taken to tie in with the notices? On uh, the uh, 4th of uh, December, the, the relevant regulations uh, were set under negative vetting, and uh, that the, they were passed on the 22nd of uh, January 2014. And we already said that uh, for the diversion plan, waste diversion plan, we considered uh, publishing a cassette notice to designate different. Uh, Commencement dates for the regulations, and after that we have talked to the uh, waste uh, handling tray and also other relevant stakeholders, and there were working group meetings to make sure that the waste uh, diversion plan can uh, work uh, effectively. Now we are ready to uh, implement some of the amendment regulations. We are going to open up the uh, Shatin uh, Refuse Transfer Station for the use of private uh, waste handlers, and we are going to reduce the uh, the charge, and also to upgrade uh, the standard equipment on uh, our CVs. On the first of April, uh, or first of April, uh, the amendment uh, regulation will come into operation, saying that the. Uh, Shah Tin uh, trans Refuse Transfer Station uh, will be open for use by private uh, waste collectors, and uh, then uh, the new standards uh, for RCVs would uh, also would, uh, be effective. We have consulted the uh, environmental uh, panel on uh, the proposal. In the in the paper to the panel, we set out the details of the progress we have made so far. So we are not. I'm not going to repeat all the points again here. We are going to designate uh, that uh, North East NT, uh, South East NT landfill would only receive uh, inert waste. We will no longer uh, receive uh, municipal. Uh, Ways, and also the routes uh, for charting the uh, landfill will be changed for FEHD uh, refuse vehicle refuse collection vehicles. Once it's open up for the use by private uh, waste collectors, we hope that at the end of this year we can uh, formally implement this measure. But uh, much will depend on uh, the. Uh, 
progress made by the FEHD on diverting their uh, LCVs through other routes. Uh, I'll be happy to take questions. All right, uh, I will give each member seven minutes uh, because seven, four to five minutes uh, may not be long enough. But please don't use all seven minutes for your uh, questions. Mr. Tenkapiu, the FC uh, approved the funding for the three land views in uh, December uh, in respect of South Southeast NT land view. And now we are seeing uh, a, a new measure here. You're not going to, uh, we are concerned when you are going to stop receiving the food waste and municipal waste. You want to do this at the end of this, this year. So are you saying that it cannot be done before Ju at the end of July? Is it impossible or is it that the chance uh, will be very low? Now for SC NT, Landview will be using its uh, Landview gas to produce uh, energy. You are going to work with uh, Tang Gas to turn the uh, Landview gas into fuel. And uh, I believe, uh, well, the question is, uh, is it going to help with the uh, older problem? or the carbon emission problem. So why can't you do the same for the two moon landfill if uh, there are so many merits of doing so? And also for the commencement notices, whether it's RC for the RCV standard or the uh, stipulation, the new uh, stipulation that only uh, construction ways uh, will be accepted. Uh, is it going to make uh, things or business very difficult for the waste handlers? For the last part, we hope that uh, in the middle of this year we are going to uh, prepare another commencement notice uh, if everything progresses smoothly. We hope that before the end, before the uh, summer uh, recess begins, we can um, table the, the proposal because the uh, relocation has just been completed. On the 27th of, uh, this of October, we already explained that uh, the conversion of the RCVs uh, have uh, registered almost a 100% participation rate. Only the 20 order vehicles are not yet uh, covered. Uh, and I believe uh, before the 1st of March, uh, all will be completed. As for the, sh the opening up of uh, Shatin Refuse Transfer Station, well, the sector welcomes this. We have uh, con carried out a pilot scheme, and the participants all find it uh, convenient to use. As for uh, designating SCNT landfills to receive uh, construction waste only, uh, at present the refuse transfer stations uh, will be uh, divert. We have diverted routes so as to uh, and release some capacity for this scheme. Uh, we are going to talk on you to talk to the trade. And at the end, if at the end of the th of this year we implement the last uh, measure, we would like to see that uh, the impact will be uh, minimized. As for the landfill gas, I will defer to Dr. Chen. Well, if you make good use of landfill gas, it's something that should be welcomed. Uh, Mr. Chen asked whether it would help with uh, the older problem. Uh, the answer is no. Because uh, if uh, it's not uh, converted, it will be uh, burned, and of course we have to extract all the gas and uh, burn it. And now, after purification, uh, the gas 
will be channeled to Chang'an Shi Pump Station and mix up uh, mix with uh, Tang Gas. Of course, it's going to help with the uh, carbon emission issue. And uh, why are we not doing the same with other landfills? Well, we have been talking to the uh, contractors and the relevant companies, uh, CLP and Tang Gas. To see whether they can uh, make the make best the best use of uh, landfill gas. Well, uh, if we uh, do this uh, slowly, are we not going to waste uh, landfill gas? Well, that's certainly true. We need to uh, extract uh, the landfill gas now and burn it. And uh, the uh, landfill itself would also use the landfill gas, for example, to generate electricity and to uh, to produce uh, heat. But there is an excess, and we need to burn the excess landfill gas. We'll talk to the relevant uh, companies to see if we we can make the best use of uh, the supply of landfill gas. Uh, with regard to the commencement notice to designate that SENT landfill will only receive uh, construction and uh, waste, uh, it's possible that we can do it before the end of the year. Of course, we come up with a proposal to uh, pop to cassette the notice, but we will consult the panel, the environmental panel first. I think we are concerned that uh, all the uh, supporting mesh measures should be in place first so that uh, for food waste and other organic waste I will not have to be sent to the Chongkono landfill. Mr. Chan, please uh, tell us more about the progress. Uh, are you sure, are you confident that uh, you can complete uh, all the necessary uh, tasks before the 1st of March? And uh, what if uh, you cannot achieve that before the 1st of March. Is there a contingency plan? Uh, Dr. Kenneth Chan, when uh, Xiongguan Old uh, Landfill would only accept construction waste, uh, then the question is, uh, can uh, some of the waste be uh, recycled and reused? And I have asked questions on uh, recycling. Uh, a number of times. There's one operating at uh, the Eco Park. I understand the administration has been trying to help uh, them to recovering uh, use of reusable materials such as uh, cotton balls and also the to turn uh, wood material into the charcoal. But the things, uh, according to the operator, that did not improve after talking to Dr. Chen. They are now sort of uh, merely surviving. This is a very good recycler. They want to uh, explore new grounds in uh, recycling. And at the same time, we are still sending a good wooden uh, material and timber to our landfills. But it's not really acceptable. And that's why the uh, three the proposals are to expand the landfills and construct the uh, Incinerator have been so controversial because we want to recycle useful materials and now they're all sent to the landfills. Is there anything more the government can do? Can you do anything other than uh, advice? You can tell people that uh, these uh, wooden boards should be sent to a certain uh, recycler instead of to the landfills. You may think that this may uh, make things a little bit more complicated, but if you want to reduce the municipal to a waste, 
this is something you should do. And uh, the secretary should also consider doing more. You can ask uh, the uh, ex exhibitors at uh, the convention center to send their material to recyclers, but they can just ignore you. You just sit on your hands without doing anything, just keep appealing to them. And I think you're just wasting our uh, sincerity and our resources. Please consider this seriously, follow it up with the appropriate um, bodies. In relation to recycling or um, a collection of wooden material, we have had a number of exchanges with Mr. Chan. At Eco Park, there is an operation uh, collecting and recycling wooden materials. We have put in a lot of resources uh, to ensure its operation. And so we're, we did not just give them a, a site to operate. We support all the projects and items um, and establishments running at the Eco Park. We actively assist the development of each and every operators in the Eco Park. And I will defer to um, Dr. Chen for details. We have done uh, a number of things in relation to wooden materials. When it comes to producer of uh, wooden boards, say for example, container company, uh, container terminals, a logistic companies, secretary has written to them, and uh, some of them is given as a response. Uh, we have uh, several truckloads of materials sent over at the West Kowloon transfer station. Wooden boards can be sent to um, the Tunmun container terminal instead of going to the landfill. We have adopted a similar approach when it comes to glass bottles. If the wooden materials uh, supplier can yeah, agree to that, I think it will be great. Sorry, I have to interrupt you. Um, there is a call for um, members next door, so we have to pause the meeting for about five minutes.